Good Thursday morning and thanks for waking up with us here on Good Day Virginia. I'm Brandon Van Sickle. Your time right now is 531 and we're going to get started this half hour with more from the Democratic National Convention. A jam packed arena roared to life last night as Governor Tim Walz officially accepted his party's nomination for vice president. Now excitement continues growing ahead of Kamala Harris's big speech this evening. Rebecca Castor is in Chicago with the latest. Last night featured a long list of political heavy hitters and celebrities, but the man of the hour was Governor Tim Walz, who officially accepted his party's nomination for vice president. Minnesota Governor Tim Walz, a politician who had never used a teleprompter before becoming the Democrat VP nominee, was front and center Wednesday night addressing the DNC. It's the honor of my life to accept your nomination for vice president. Walls playing on his humble upbringing was introduced by some of his former students from his days as a high school teacher and football coach. Tim Walls is the kind of guy you can count on to push you out of a snowbank. I know this because Tim Walls has pushed me out of a snowbank. But it was those players and my students who inspired me to run for Congress. In his remarks, Walls talked about some of the things he and Harris want to do in office, including taking on big pharma and lowering taxes for the middle class. No matter who you are, Kamala Harris is going to stand up and fight for your freedom. Stars of the Democratic Party, including former President Bill Clinton and former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, also taking the stage Wednesday night. When Kamala Harris is president, every day will begin with you. And a celebrity so famous, she's known by just her first name. Let us choose joy. Tonight, Vice President Kamala Harris will officially accept her party's nomination for president, while Donald Trump is in Arizona to visit the southern border and speak on immigration. In Chicago, Rebecca Castor, Fox News.